Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading, and I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for this week's reading. All right, so I'm going to start by selecting three cards. Each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week, and my goal here is to get some ideas and insights about the week ahead. All right. So before I dive into the reading, I just want to let you know about something called Tarot Summer School. Tarot Summer School is a really super fun online tarot event. It runs all summer long and it includes 12 tarot teachers and 12 totally different tarot courses and I am a part of it this year and I'm going to be teaching a course in tarot journaling. So I'm going to put the link to where you can sign up and find out more about that just below this video. Um, you can sign up now, you can get a season's pass or you can sign up for individual courses. So I'm going to just put the link below the video and you can check it out if you're interested. Okay, so let's begin with the first card. This card is for the beginning of the week, so like Monday, Tuesday-ish. And I'm just going to zoom in a little here. Okay. Um, Page of Swords. Uh, ugh, already I can feel <laughs> like my mind is elsewhere, so I have to warn you. I'm a little distracted for this reading. My beloved cat Henry is at the vet right now. He's been there for the last couple days. He had a urinary blockage, and so he's being treated for that. He's okay. He will make it, um, but I'm just really worried about him. So, so that's what's going on with me. So here we have the Page of Swords at the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday. Um, pages are interesting. This one particularly I think of as being kind of intellectual. <laughs> this is a student who is learning through books mainly. So beginning of the week is a good time, I think, to be open-minded, to learn something new, particularly learning through like reading a book about something, um, maybe researching something online. Uh, definitely, there's definitely a book learning kind of vibe um, with this card. And the thing I love about books, I'm, I'm such a fan of books. I love like hard copy physical books. I have a lot of books. And what I love about books is I feel like, you know, each book is like whoever wrote that book and all books are different, but whoever wrote the book put in a tremendous amount of time and energy and research and knowledge to create that book. And so I just feel like books are these treasures. Um, and so that's what I thought of when I, when I saw the, the page of swords. I'm also kind of struck by a couple things. Um, I'm struck by the uh, light bulb balloons and also by how this figure is tiptoeing over the sword. Um, the light bulb balloons to me symbolize getting lots of ideas. So I think that if you're looking for new ideas, fresh ideas, the quickest way to get those ideas would be to maybe read a book about something that's outside of your normal repertoire, like outside of your normal kind of uh, what you would normally read about. Um, and then the tiptoeing, that's kind of interesting. Um, it's like this, uh, this figure is... It's like she's moving from one chunk of land to another chunk of land, but she's not that high up because you can see the grass coming here. So it's not like she's super high up, um, but it's like she's bridging the gap. That's what I'm getting with that, with that symbol, bridging the gap. Um, okay, let's look at the middle of the week. Middle of the week is Wednesday and Thursday-ish. Oh, here we have five of pentacles. Okay, five of pentacles. Um, 
Uh, I kind of hate this card in a way. Um, so Five of Pentacles is about feeling, kind of feeling like you're shut out of something. You're maybe not a part of something. You're on the outside looking in, like you've been kind of outcast. Um, it's a card of struggle, and often it's struggle that is struggle on the financial level or the physical level. So this can symbolize, you know, feeling sick or having money problems or something like that. Um, that's kind of the traditional interpretation of it. So if I was to take an, a, a traditional interpretation, the middle of the week may be a time where we're a little bit more vulnerable physically and financially. Now, the Five of Pentacles is not like the Tower, right? The Tower is a really intense uh, card that can symbolize intense destruction. Five of Pentacles is more low level. This is like about getting hit with a bill that just pisses you off, you know, or coming down with a cold. This isn't about, you know, getting super sick or losing a ton of money, but it's about kind of feeling feeling the, the um, effects of that. What's interesting about this card is there's a little key right here in the background and um, it shows that the solution to whatever problem you're suffering from this week is probably going to be found by the end of the week or, or soon. It's not out of your reach. Even if it feels like it's out of your reach in this moment, it isn't. Okay, let's look at the last card. This is for the end of the week. And I love how this is a new kind of energy <laughs> from the Five of Pentacles. So this is an exuberant, lively, happy energy here with the Knight of Wands. Did I just say the four? Did I just say the Four of Wands? No. Okay, Knight of Wands. Sorry, I'm my brain. My brain is kind of fried right now. Um, okay, so I love the Knight of Wands. She is very energetic, adventurous, passionate, dynamic, and exciting. This is a character who craves adventure and wants to traverse new horizons and kind of marches to the beat of her own drum and, and someone who is fueled by passion. So this is the kind of person who needs to work in a line of work that she's really passionate about. You know, some of us can work. It doesn't matter necessarily what we do. We don't have to be super passionate about what we do, but Knight of Wands does. <laughs> um, so what does it mean for us here? End of the week is a time to kind of let down your hair and be a little more adventurous and really embrace kind of that lively energy that you see on this card. So you could ask yourself, you know, for the upcoming weekend, what is one way that you can honor this kind of energy? What could you do on the weekend that is somewhat adventurous um, and, and somewhat lively? Um... Okay, I'm going to look at all three cards together now, and I invite you to do the same. So I invite you to look at these three cards with me and notice if there's any kind of repeating symbols, anything that's sort of jumping out at you. Um, to me, it seems like the first two cards are about like looking for something or finding something like the woman is. Well, it's interesting. The first uh, character of Page of Swords, she's looking at her book while she's walking. So she's not really paying close attention to what where she's going, but she's reading her book. And then Five of Pentacles, this woman has her head bowed down, and so she doesn't see that that key behind her. So both of these cards, Page of Swords and Five of Pentacles, they aren't totally present in their environment. They're not seeing everything. Um, but then when we get to the end of the week, it's like a, a shift. It's like the winds change. Like there's this shift in energy um, and suddenly things become more lively and upbeat and, and exuberant and kind of passion filled, which feels exciting. So I think also the Knight of Wands, I also kind of um, associate, I associate the suit of wands with creativity. So I think that the weekend is a good time to pursue creative projects, but particularly being kind of adventurous and daring in those creative projects 
And, you know, if you're a writer or a painter, you know, maybe、um, writing about something or painting something that you wouldn't normally write about or paint about,、um, you know, kind of getting out of your usual routine, your usual box that you're in. Okay, I'm just going to look again to see if there's any. Oh, I do see something kind of interesting here. So there's four light bulbs that she's holding, and then at the end we've got four wa-、um, wands in the background that are on fire. So it's almost like in the first card, those light bulbs symbolize ideas that have not yet been realized, but with the Knight of Wands, it's about kind of putting those ideas into action. And then in the middle, it's like you doubt yourself, maybe something comes up that kind of gets in your way, that pulls you down. That you struggle with a little bit, but in the end, you're able to work everything out. Okay, so it looks like, looks like a fun week, looks like an exciting week coming up.、Um, so, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about tarot cards and tarot card reading, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and、uh, check out my website. DailyTarotGirl.com. I'm going to put the link below. I've got tons of fun tarot learning resources for you. I've got lots of free gifts,、um, tarot spreads,、uh, tarot tutorial videos, deck reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you check it out. And thanks for watching. I hope you have a good week.